Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Vulnerability Weekly. In this show, we analyze the latest news, the latest vulnerability alerts and uh, news that you see from a vulnerability perspective, from an attack perspective. This week has been particularly intense with uh, probably Citrix um, vulnerability on Netscaler and um, the Citrix ADC or Netscaler ADC and Netscaler gateways uh, or Citrix gateways. This is a remote code execution. So it's a, a vulnerability in code that can be triggered and, can, and, and an attacker can run uh, rem uh, remotely uh, code on the uh, Netscaler and get access potentially to your network. Now we have as well this week, a webinar with one of our CISO friends to explain the migration from pure vulnerability or practitioner into a CISO room and into the boardroom and how to communicate effectively with the board. And with the new SEC regulation coming up, this is particularly critical for all security professionals at the CISO level or close to the CISO level to communicate effectively. So please join me on the 27th of uh, July at 4 p.m. GMT UK time with Jim Newman. Thank you. There's been on the same front, uh, another vulnerability on um, OpenSSH. This is a Qualys research. Uh, again, is another uh, remote code execution on the OpenSSH agent and the vulnerability allow an attacker to potentially take over the machine that hosts the library uh, or uh, the full water agent running fundamentally um, code with the privilege that uh, the machine has. On other news from a cloud perspective, Waze has published a research on vulnerabilities uh, for Microsoft and specifically for the attack from the Chinese a unit, attacking unit, uh, that stole fundamentally credential and uh, the golden SAML token and reforged and created new credential uh, for uh, getting access to all the backend. Uh, this is a bit. This has been uh, been unique uh, attack methodology. Is again a nation state sponsor attack, tracing back to the time frame that the attacker have uh, been operating. Um, on other news on uh, AI front, there's been an initial attempt to produce a worm called Worm GPT that automate the creation of highly convincing fake email. Uh, to increase effectively the, the targeting and um, vulnerabilities uh, on human, uh, leveraging ChatGPT to actually craft really well crafted email. Uh, we'll see if this as a an effect will will see more AI adoption into the uh, SSL gateways or um, email gateways to detect this kind of um, well crafted um, email. Traditionally, spam email has been um, not very well crafted and uh, on some extent could, was easier to detect and especially the well crafted one uh, were harder to detect. From the latest updates, uh, there is a UK regulation, UK law that is uh, intending to weaken a little bit the security of specific messaging uh, system like Apple, um, message iMessage or FaceTime from still Apple and uh, WhatsApp uh, message communication. Now there is already uh, an alignment uh, from Apple and all these vendors with the existing US and European regulator. Uh, the UK one goes a step beyond lowering the uh, encryption level and there's been a debate uh, of this to be unlawful and a threat to freedom of speech, as well as a threat for individual because uh, effectively this lowered the security posture of all this messaging communication. And there's been, um, those providers have been threatening to pull out completely from the UK um, if this regulation goes away. So we'll follow this um, news and evolution of this news. But for now, please uh, have a look at your Citrix, have a look at your OpenSSL uh, and
So for now, have a look at your Citrix, patch it as soon as possible because the critical vulnerability has been published to CISA and your OpenSSH um, updated uh, if it's externally facing specifically because this uh, vulnerability is a particular uh, threatening one and has remote code execution potential. So I hope this was, was informational. This is Francesco Cipollone. I'm the CEO and founder of Phoenix Security. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. I hope this was useful and I, I hope the community engaged with the discussion on CVSS, bring out the factor of contextualization and risk assessment that is still a major element or a major pain point in the whole CVSS discussion. And I still consider that this hasn't been fully addressed by the discussion. My name is Francesco Cipollone. I'm the CEO and founder of Phoenix Security. We do vulnerability management from application to code to cloud at scale. And we help you as well looking at CVSS and overriding some of the factor and really taking control of your vulnerability data. I hope this was informational. Follow us and check more about our content. Goodbye. Stay safe. Phoenix. Fix vulnerabilities today before attackers exploit them tomorrow.